Welcome to Paulie's World. Today, <clears throat> I'm going to be making my fire wings. I'm talking burn your face off hot fire wings with so much flavor that will make you come back for more. It's like that chip you just cannot stop eating. Here is the famous Bolt Juca pepper powder. In my garden as we speak now, these bad Larry's are growing. It's the ghost pepper. The flavor in this pepper is intense. Not only is it super hot, but the flavor, <clears throat> it's gotta be the most flavorful thing I've ever had in my life. It's a smoky, natural, it's just, man, hard to explain. You gotta eat it to try it, to know what I mean. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how I marinate the chicken wings, and then uh, we're going to grill them on the grill. Many ways to make chicken wings. You can deep fry them, you can uh, you could bake them in the oven, you can do them on a the grill. I prefer deep frying them, but my favorite method, especially for this recipe here, is on the grill. So let's get started. Here we have about 10 uh, chicken wings. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, just to coat it. We're going to jump it around there, get that olive oil in there. Yes, sir. Wash the hands. <laughs> this is a showstopper, believe it. When I make this and I bring this to work, I love watching the guys sweat their asses off and start hiccuping and you name it. But they always come back for more, man. It's just that flavor. I'm telling you. You cannot get this flavor anywhere else. Very simple seasoning. Here I have McCormick's poultry seasoning. Uh, I'm going to put some of that there. Just coat the top of this. That's enough seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Just give a good coating on the top and then we'll mix it in and that's it. Then I have a little paprika. And don't worry about the uh, too much paprika, because plenty of heat then is going to be in this thing. A little sea salt, a little cracked pepper, now we just mix it all together. Just make sure it gets coated, decently coated, all right. And that's it. That's the seasoning for the chicken. Nothing more than that. I'll wash my hands. Don't forget when working with poultry, always, 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 or any meat, raw meat for that matter, you don't want to cross contaminate, which means you don't want to be handling the chicken and then go pick up a piece of bread or, or touch another raw meat. This is what we call cross contaminating. Oh, as, oh, as one guy when I worked with said, of course you could do <laughs> Alright. So that's that for this. Grill super hot. And for the sauce. The sauce is the boss, baby. I am going to bake the most simple, easy-peasy, Japanese sauce you've ever seen in your life. Give me one second, and I'll be right back to show you. <laughs> Alright. Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything. <laughs> it's the best basic buffalo wing sauce in the planet. And the only thing I do to jazz this up is add some bolt juca powder and butter. So we come over here. God forbid this thing just open up though. Be careful when you're opening these things, you know, if you're anything like me, yeah, you, you have very little patience. And with little patience, there's how accidents happen. So I'm just going to pour some of the franks in here into this trusty dish. You don't need tons of this. Um, just enough so you can coat the wings. Anything else is a waste. 
So a little Franks. Then I come here and I get some Irish butter. Bam, a nice little thickness slab of Irish butter. That goes in. And that's it. While the wings are cooking on the grill, we're gonna take this, this Frank's hot with butter, melt it down on the microwave, then we're gonna add the bochuca. If you add the ghost pepper now, any, anyone in your house is gonna start tearing up and sneezing and hey, it's a big to do. So, first we'll grill the chicken and then we'll put it in the sauce. And I'll show you the whole process. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna let you out on it. Uh, I think that's it. Got the chicken. Let it sit there about 20 minutes, half hour, no more than that. So I'll be right back when we're grown so you can see the magic happen. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it in reverse because what happens is this here, folks, friends, 20 seconds just to melt the butter. Um, when the wings come off of the grill, super piping hot, and into that sauce, into the uh, the buffalo sauce, it uh, it warms up that sauce. So don't worry about keeping the sauce hot. You're just melting the butter just to melt everything together, the ingredients. Um, that's the only thing we're doing here. She's not melted yet. Right back into there, into your chamber. Let's do 30 seconds. Now you got liquid. So it'll take a little longer. I'm going to warn you. You're going to put a quarter teaspoon, this is the only time I measure, folks, of this ghost pepper into this mix. If you put more than a quarter of a teaspoon, and I'm telling you now, I'm warning you, you will cry while eating these. And you'll keep eating them because the flavor is fantastic. But that heat will kick you in your butt. Believe me. So, microwave, Frank's hot, some butter. Still not melted all the way. Afraid of the All right, let it mix, let it mix. A couple more minutes in the way. So 20, 30 already, what do you got, 50? Uh, 29 29 segundos ah. and you wonder where can you get this ghost pepper bowl joker well powder you can get it online you could get it at specialty uh, spice shops or you could do it like I do you grow it growing it's the best way because when you do get this online from a spice shop or, or online or whatever they always add fillers to it so it doesn't cake up uh, but the way I dry my peppers out and they never cake up uh, the caking is the moisture, so it, it takes time, you know, but if you do it the right way, you don't have to worry about caking. And by the way, after you dry that up, it lasts forever. Oh, yeah, son, now we're cooking. So basically, you melt that butter in there, okay? Into the Frank's hot. Now you add this. Friends. quarter of a teaspoon that's it Boom. fire you mix that in there and friends with these simple ingredients Frank's Red Hot being the best base for buffalo wings hands down butter <coughs> Excuse me. That stuff is strong, man. Holy cow. In the bowl juker. <coughs> In the bowl juker is all you need. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy camoli. Hey, it's the spicy meatballs, eh? All right. Let's get those wings on the grill. Oh, yeah, baby. The sun's out. <laughs> all right. Let's get these bad Larrys up on the grill, well, shall we? Remember, folks, nice hot grill. Hot. 
is key. They're in, you close the cover. That's all there is to it. And then we flip them. And then we put them in a hot sauce. And then you eat it. And then, oh, oh my friends, you enjoy. Be right back, put it on the grill. You see what we did. And watch how time lapses with the magic of editing. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> it's been about five minutes. See what we got. Yeah, son. Now we'll flip them over. I treat these things like steak. Don't need to mess with them, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, don't worry about the burn marks. That's happiness right there, son. Okay, we'll flip them over. Let it go. These are bone-in wings, don't forget. They take a little bit more time to cook. But, <clears throat> with that being said, they are juicier. All right. Look at these beautiful, beautiful things. Huh? Right. We'll shut this down. Another five minutes. We'll be right back. All right. Now, wings are done. Five minutes one side. Five minutes on the other side. Like I said, some grills and ovens it, it depends. Uh, some are different. Some are harder. You know. So you got to take that into account. So. Basically what we're doing here, friends, look at this, huh? <laughs> Take these beautiful wings right into the hot sauce. Right into the sauce, huh? Get them all in. And then all you gotta do is coat them up. smell coming out of there is amazing. So you wrap these up, coat them up. Be happy. My neighbor's dog. I shouldn't say dog. Dogs. More than one. All right. Let them get happy there. Oh yeah. Look at that, huh? Nice buffalo wing. And that's it, my friends. Paul is famous. Fire wings. As simple as that. We'll come back. I'm going to try it so you can see what it is. <laughs> it's hot. I'd like to take this one quick second to thank everybody that's been watching my videos and commenting. and I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's only going to get better. We're going to get into the garden. We're going to go see Vavo. We have a lot going on here. A lot to come. The Cape. Life is good. Life is good. All right, friends. Here we go. Look at this, eh? This is a true test. So, I got some napkins here. Oh, my friends. You can have some blue cheese, whatever you like on the side, dip it in there. smoke flavor, the, uh, the vinegary from the, uh, the Frank's heart and the mellowing out of the butter. <whistles> Money. Ollie's World Hot Wings. Yeah. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, sir.
Here we go. I'm not good with hot stuff, though. You'll be fine. Tell me what you think of that flavor, though. Lots of flavor. Moist. Yeah. Good chicken. Hot as hell. We need some blue cheese or something, Paul. Yes. That's a good wing, though. 9.3. Nice. Out of 10. That's high okay. enough for me. One bite. All right, Kevin. How's that heat? It's heat. I'm going to start crying in the other room. <laughs> thumbs up? Thumbs up. No thumbs down. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.